Okay, let me try and make a uh, kind of a simple hand position. We're just working on the left hand. I'm not even going to talk about the right hand. We'll work on that later, the picking. That You probably can watch it while I do it. But So my left hand, what you want to do is when you drop your hand on your neck, you want to, be, that's the position, that's your natural position where you start from. That's your default start. So there's, there's my fingers. You see the angle I have? It's not quite 45, but it's, you know, it's 60, 70 in there. My thumb on the back is always somewhere in the middle. It's either going to be up there, depending if I get way down low down here, or I get up top, it's going to come around more like that. You you want to keep that thumb somewhere, so you, you, what you're doing is, there's my pressure on my neck. So now my fingers can play anywhere I want. They're not going to, I don't have, you, the last thing you want to do is have this inside part of your hand touching the, your neck or your edge of your fretboard, because then you're you're playing with just your fingers on top. You want your fingers free so they don't, they don't struggle and have any extra movement. So I got this, my default position. A little bit of an angle, there's 45, there's, I'm not going to be 90 unless, you can, but that's not your goal. So there's my default position. Just playing arpeggios, seventh chords. So that's, that's what, what I'm trying to do is keep this across the neck when I play. Off a little bit so you can hear them. Or if I seven. So that's kind of my default position. My my hand starts somewhere. I got space between the neck. I'm playing between the the, the palm of my thumb and the tips of my finger. Not all the way in the tips, a little bit the, the, the end palm of my my tips. That's where I, where I play from. And I got this angle going, so instead of stretching like this, I'm stretching with this type of movement, which is much easier on your, that's what your hands do naturally. This is not that natural a movement. If you do it a lot, you're gonna start, you'll, you'll get problems. <coughs> angle the fingers, let's see, when you, I mean, stretches, that's, when you get stretches, that's, I mean, that's, you can do that, right? It's just easier on your, on your, we're playing down low, so these are about as far as they get, right? But it's easier on your hand in the long run. Uh, try and keep your fingers in the same position, this, like a, this kind of a, uh, the same elevation across the top of your neck, so you're, you, you're not, the least amount of movement you can, they're, they're just, they're very little efforts required. <laughs> down there so up top if you, if you practice playing the scales in position I use the seven positions and then do arpeggios do the sevens for please and then just play in the top four string minor mix it in Sweaty finger, but it works. But, but um, so I, I play with those. That's the way I, you know, if you're playing. Um, I try to keep that least amount of movement, and, and unless you're trying to keep a lick that has a bounce, like a. So I'm trying to I'm trying to keep a little bouncy feel so I'm, I may lose that angle a little bit because now I'm trying I'm, I'm using bad technique almost to create an effect. Mm -hmm. 
So, so I'm noodling, but I, I'm using the, the movement for a reason, and I'm still working off my default, default position when I play. I don't know. I, hopefully that helps. If uh, if you want something else, tell me. I'll try to give more on that. Um, you can watch any of my videos. I got a million videos. Just watch when I play. I don't think about it, but that's basically if you watch, that's where I always start from. I may go to different stuff, but there's I have this default position. The way I move my neck is is in positions all over. It's one big position, and I use my pat, pat my. Uh, scale patterns to basically keep my hands in position when I want to play. I don't really play off those positions you create, like although you can, but it's just a way for me to realize what I'm trying to hear. So um, I probably should do it with the right hand. Let me try so I can put something together.